Okay, so one super fast and easy way to make the train move along a spline or any object um, for that matter is to run something in the event tick. And first off, you gotta make a new variable and call that distance covers. And then hit float file, make sure that's set to zero. Beautiful. And we can basically use this just as is. A little slight modification. There we go. All we want to do right here is just set that this thing is covered and also to increment the distance covered as well. I'm just gonna take again this is super basic. You don't have anything like acceleration, deceleration in this, it is literally just a load increasing every single tick. And this should make it move in the slowly, but it should definitely move. Okay. Nice, there we go. Also just um Oops. Line a bit longer. And also I just I do wanna get a little bit of a what do you say? Bump into it. Duplicate, yeah, there we go. Okay. This. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Okay, see what happens. Wow, if you look at that. Fantastic. Um, make the platform a bit bigger so I can actually stand on it. Cool. Start again. Okay, this was kind of scary. <laughs> Just this bit further. That time to stand on it. There we go. We got our train. And as far as this goes, the way it is, which the net mode is climb, should all work as is. It's a bit buggy, but that's more of a character collision thing than anything. But yeah. So we have a floating train kind of thing. Moving at a really slow speed. Fantastic. What a waste of time, right? <laughs> See you in the next part.